I'm in the car because I'm on the way to my parents to finish a video, start another video, and try to persuade Ralph to do something totally different. I'm Anna. And I'm Ralph. And we're ready to go. And here's my project. It's this china cabinet that my mom's had for quite a while. And it's not vintage or antique. It's just old and kind of ugly. And my mom doesn't really want it anymore. She was ready to put it on the curb like for someone to pick up. And I thought, hmm, this could be the perfect piece to flip into a coffee bar. I know it's gonna take a bit of work. I wanna move the shelves around and it is a hideous brown 70s color. But with a little bit of work, some help from Ralph, maybe my mom, I think this can make the cutest coffee bar. First, I have to empty it though. The cabinet's empty now, so I can tell you my plan. I want to remove all the doors. I don't want any doors and I don't want any glass fronts. These don't even open. This is the only part that opens, so this is kind of useless. So I want that, I want to remove that. And then the shelves seem to be on the wrong height. Like, I, I wanna move them a, a bit up and down. I don't know how we're gonna do that, but I would like them moved, even if we have to build another shelf or something, but I do want that moved. And the bottoms, oh, I haven't decided yet. I know I'm changing out the hardware because it's hideous. And the middle one on the bottom doesn't open. So I don't know if that's kind of pointless or we just use it for storage. But first off, I want to take off the doors and even the supports, there's like supports in between. I want to remove that. And by I, I really actually just mean Ralph. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much just, so it's just a little bit of deconstruction right now. And then I have to make a plan on how I'm going to reconstruct everything. But it's going to look so good. We were struggling to deconstruct the cabinet so much so that I seemed to also struggle to turn on my mic. Anyway, it was a bit tight trying to take the front off, working from the front, and I'm going to replace the back anyway. Well, not replace, I'm gonna recover it, make it look pretty. So we thought, why not just take off the back right now and work from the back? Can look it way better to work with. Ha. Yeah. It just looks really weird, but still a few more pieces to remove. The multi-tool was a lifesaver, and this definitely goes much smoother as a two-person job. Demo's done. Sounds funny saying demo for furniture, but we did do demo. The doors are off and it looks so much better already. Now I just need to give it a really good wash to see what I have to work with. And then I might need to do some filling of some holes and some damage that we did during demo and then paint. I left the primer to dry for a couple of days because it was so wet and humid. We've accomplished a lot for one day. We took apart, like did the whole deconstruction, washed everything, and it's been primed. My last task for today, I'm just gonna add some wallpaper, some really fun wallpaper, to the backing of the, what's gonna be the coffee bar. And it's just like pretty little flowers. And it's peel and stick, so that's really easy.
I'm painting the coffee bar the same color as the kitchen around the corner. It's Hushed Umber by Sherwin-Williams. To see that kitchen, check out my kitchen makeover video. We forgot our power stapler at home and had to go old school with my dad's stapler to get the backing on. But doesn't that look so good? Now it's time to reconstruct the cabinet. For months now, I've been slowly accumulating mugs, plates, spoon, anything that a coffee bar needs, but in cute matching details. Ralph hooked the light back up. It's an original detail that I thought would be handy to keep. The whole cabinet has had two coats, but the doors, they seem a little blotchy and I think they need a third coat. So now I'm just gonna finish this up with a third coat of paint. Ralph replaced the hardware with some that I found at the ReStore for a dollar each. He did have to drill a new hole, but the base of the hardware covers everything up. Ralph always ends up with boring jobs like hardware, but he's great with things like measuring and accuracy, unlike, say, me. A coffee bar needs a coffee maker. And once we decided where to put one, Ralph cut out a hole for the plug. He was actually planning on making a little flap, but he went a little all in with the multi-tool and now it's a hole. This was one of my most favorite projects. I love it. And it was much easier than we originally expected because we didn't have to move any shelves and the coffee maker still fits. Now I totally get it. Pink and bold flowers might not work in everyone's decor, but that's the best part about this project. It's personalizable to pretty much any color and probably any china cabinet. Well, it's time for me to go grab a coffee. Thanks so much for watching and please remember, like, subscribe and share and I'll see you soon with another project. Bye. I don't even know when, that's like, seems like, for, is the camera crooked? Wow, the camera seems really crooked. Yeah, I didn't have one of the legs down all the way. Okay, let's do that again. This china cabinet. Okay, ah. Uh. This was one of my most favorite projects. Why was it? Okay. This was one of my most favorite projects.